Hi, and welcome to the EasyLogic tutorial series. In the first tutorial, we covered many aspects of EasyLogic, including the EasyLogic Master and EasyLogic Layer plugins. We also saw how we can create opening and closing animations for our scene, and finally, we created a change animation to update the show title data. In this tutorial, we are going to show some more examples of creating animations to change the remaining data elements in our scene. By the end of this tutorial, we will have a full working transition logic scene, and we can use to change all the data in the scene and show you how it works in Trio with combo pages. So let's get started. I first want to create a change animation for the Showtime container. For this layer, I am going to animate the position of the text. First I will add a control text object so the CG operator can change the text from Trio, Pilot, or any other control application. Now let's select the Showtime Director, and then the Child Change Director. I will then add one keyframe to start the animation at the text current position. The second keyframe position will be off screen. Remember, we should update the content when the data is not visible to make the scene look better. And finally, the last position will be the same as the first keyframe position. Let's have a look at the animation. It is a little bit too fast, but it is easy to fix with EasyLogic. We can just open the stage, go to the Showtime Director, and in the Child Change Director, we shorten the duration of the animation. Let's have a look again. Now let's create a different animation for the Show Day container. Again, I will first add a control text object to the text container. I will now select the Change Director under the Show Day Director. This animation is going to be slightly more advanced to show you how easy it is to create advanced animations with EasyLogic. I'm going to have the text slide out of view and then fade back in. So first I create the keyframes to animate the X position of the text. And now I will create the alpha animation using the alpha plugin. Now in my stage I have two channels, one for the position animation and the other for the alpha animation. Let's just adjust the keyframe so we have the animation that we are after. As you can see, my action keyframe in the change director is positioned to the part of the animation where my data is not visible on air. Ok, so now we have the slide out and fade in animation. Let's move to the next easy logic layer, the show info. As before, we first add the control text object to the text container. So for this layer, we will have the data slide down and then slide back in from the top. Let's go ahead and create this animation. Now you can see that the action keyframe that updates the data is at a position of the animation that is visible on air, so I can just drag it to the time in animation that I want. So now that we have the animation for our EasyLogic layers, I will go back to the EasyLogic Master plugin and press Create Layers. We can now close the artist and go to Viz Trio to see how the scene works. So let me just delete the pages that I created in the first tutorial. And now I can import the foreground scenes for each of my EasyLogic layers in the scene. 
Remember these scenes were generated when I click the Create Layers button in the EasyLogic Master plugin. I want to be able to control all the EasyLogic layers in the scene, so I will select all the templates, right-click on one of them, and select Create Combo Template from the menu. I will give the combo template a description and name and save it. Now we will create some pages to promote upcoming shows using the combo template we just created. The first page will promote Breaking Bad at 9 p.m. The next show will be Suits at 7.15 p.m. on Monday. And this will be the premiere. Now we can save this as a new page. And the last show we will promote will be New Girl at 1.30 on Saturday. And this will be the final episode. Let's also save this as a new page. Now that we have our pages prepared in the show playlist, we can clean up the renderer and play out our scenes. As you can see, each of the EasyLogic layers play the change animations that we defined for them. Now let's see what happens if only one of our EasyLogic layers change. I will create a new page with all the same data as in the New Girl page and only change the show day. Now, when I take this page on air when the previous New Girl page was already on air, you can see that only the show day information updates with the change animation we specified for this EasyLogic layer. In this tutorial, you have seen how easy it is to create transition logic scenes with many different data elements and animations, and how simple it was to take a scene that already contains some transition logic and change it. To keep the tutorial simple, we showed examples using the text control object, but you can use easy logic on any control object in VizRT. That wraps up this tutorial. Watch the other tutorials to learn about more features of easy logic.